This time, Amber Heard is in a really salty situation, as recently a court has given Johnny Depp access to her phone and other gadgets. This is such a major step for JD and his legal team because it gives a chance to prove that Amber Heard faked injuries he allegedly gave her. Recently, a Virginia judge, Penny Oscar, stated that Amber Heard must hand over all her gadgets to the court for a forensic examination. Johnny Depp is waging a $68 million libel suit against Amber Heard, and JD's biggest aim right now is to prove that Amber Heard has faked photos perpetrating to show her with two black eyes, which she says Johnny Depp gave her in 2015. Johnny's lawyer, Benjamin Chu, alleged to the Circuit Court of Fairfax County in Virginia in a court filing stated, Ms. Heard's counsel has repeatedly used these phony photographs at deposition. JD's lawyers also mentioned the situation when the LAPD responded to the alleged beating, they found no injury upon Ms. Heard and no disruption to the penthouses. Ms. Heard and her friends then fabricated photos that she used to obtain an ex-party TRO, temporary restraining order, and a $7 million divorce settlement which Ms. Heard falsely testified in London she gave to the ACLU and, more scandalously, to the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles sick children with cancer. Chu alleged in his filing, he added that the LAP D disavowed the photographs and said they did not depict what they saw. After those statements, the Virginia court ruled that Johnny Depp's team can have an expert look at the phone and other Amber gadgets to see if they can find evidence of any photo tampering. The order says, upon consideration of plaintiff and counterclaim defendant John C. Depp II's motion to compel dependent and counterclaim plaintiff Amber Laura Heard's production of original devices and operating system drives and cloud backups of these original devices devices as requested in plaintiff's seventh set of requests for production and Ms. Heard's cross motion to compel Mr. Depp's production of forensic evidence and for sanctions, the opposition's thereto arguments of counsel and being fully advised it is this eight day of November 2021 hereby ordered as follows. According to the order, Amber Heard has nothing to do but hand over all of her gadgets for forensic examination. It says that JD's motion to have Amber Heard compelled to produce all the gadgets she was using during their time of their relationship. This is a huge step in this court case because her gadgets may contain some evidence showing that Amber really faked the photos. Johnny's lawyer had argued that earlier images given to Johnny Depp's legal team came without any metadata, so their expert, Brian Neumeister, could not verify the details. Mr. Neumeister's preliminary investigation shows that a number of the photographs have been run through a photo, a photo editing application called Photo 3 that can easily manipulate images such as showing bruises where none actually existed, said Mr. Chu. The lawyer also said that the expert found that the photos from an iPad Pro 10.5 were created on or after October 6, 2018, adding, as such, any editing of the trial bundle versions would have been on or after October 6, 2018. So, Ms. Heard or someone on her behalf doctored those photographs three years later. When that came up in her testimony in London, Ms. Heard heard falsely denied it. In short, Your Honor, without forensic imaging, Mr. Neumeister cannot properly assess or verify Ms. Heard's data, he claimed. Interestingly, the next day after the alleged attack, Amber Heard appeared on James Corden's chat show, and there were no bruises seen at all. However, her legal team immediately responded that she was wearing heavy makeup to hide the bruising. Of course, it sounds like a bit of nonsense, as all fans already know that Amber has a history of lying, and they didn't buy it at all. One person commented, I knew Knew she was lying right from the start. She faked everything. Another person said, I really hope she gets jail time or even prison time for all this. I don't believe Johnny hit her. She faked those bruises. Responding to the fact that Amber has to hand over all of the devices, her lawyer Elaine Bredhoff told Page Six that Amber Heard welcomes the opportunity to present her evidence in a trial by jury in a court of law next year while claiming that Johnny Depp and his legal team are attempting to try the case via via the media. This is a dirty strategy after having been found to have committed multiple significant acts of domestic violence against Amber Heard by Mr. Depp's legal team to present false claims while avoiding accusations of defamation because of judicial immunity, said Amber's lawyer Elaine Bredhoff. She continued, while legal hearings are protected from defamation, they are not protected from leaks to the press, which is exactly Mr. Depp's intention, even though he lost every one of those arguments in the UK trial 
trial. His first choice of forum, he is trying to interject out of context and already proven to be false pieces from his unsuccessful efforts in court to attempt to deceive the public, pretending these issues have not already been fully tried in his court of choice, where he lost. Now, in yet another court of law, he is unable to submit his own evidence because he has nothing to prove his claims. But let's get back to the official orders and get into what was stated. The order follows. 1. Defendant's motion is denied, except Mr. Dab shall produce any native files with metadata of photographs reflecting injuries and audio and video recordings of Mr. Depp and Ms. Heard that are in Mr. Depp's profession that have been previously produced in discovery without metadata. Number 2. Plaintiff's motion is granted in part. Number 3. Defendant Amber Heard shall produce her original devices, including mobile devices and computers, including laptops and iPads, as well as operating systems drives and cloud backups of those original devices for purposes of performing a physical imaging of all data from the original devices as requested in plaintiff's seventh set of requests for production. For purposes of clarification, Ms. Heard's original devices shall include all devices on which the data was taken or originated or have been maintained as requested in plaintiff's seventh set of requests for production, including, not limited to, Ms. Heard's current devices and all cloud backups. But the fourth order is the most interesting one among the others. It's read, 4. The imaging of devices under the supervision of Mr. Debs' retained forensic expert, Brian Neumeister and or Mr. Neumeister's colleague, Matt Erickson, either in person or over Zoom, Ms. Hurd's designated forensic expert shall perform forensic imaging of the requested material on a date agreeable to the parties, but no later than November 30th, 2021 in the following manner. Well, it seems like like Amber Heard is cornered from all sides, and now her forensic expert is going to perform a forensic examination of everything he has, all of her gadgets under the supervision of JD's forensic expert. Ideally, this would mean that Amber would no longer have the opportunity to continue her deceitful game, but fans think that she will get out this time too. One fan commented, you honestly think she will hand over any device? She will say she does not have them anymore. She is one of the most most nastiest individuals I have ever heard of who is still being employed by Warner. Another person tweeted, Amber Heard will never hand over her devices. She'll probably say she's upgraded her devices since and no longer has them. One more fan said, Good luck getting the phone. I don't know many people who still have a phone that is six years old. Amber Heard is a vile person and karma's coming for her. However, it's impossible to deny that this court order is one of the greatest news that Johnny Depp and his legal team has received, and if Amber Heard will really hand over all of her devices as she has to, it will mean that very soon Johnny Depp and his legal team will have even more evidence against Amber Heard that will prove that she faked bruises on these photos. Even some fans don't really believe that Amber Heard won't try to play dirty this time, as she always does. There are so many fans that believe this turn of events may show the entire world Amber Heard's real colors. But what's your opinion? Do do you think Amber Heard will hand over her devices, or do you think that she will definitely state she doesn't have any of them? Let me know your opinion in the comment section down below, and thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.